Now I've restored the case that we've got and I have opened it up. So I've got FTK open. So what I want to do is I want to restore a file and I'm going to open up my second partition. It's the second partition because the first partition is actually the EFI partition where all of the boot files are located. So I don't need to use that. I'm going to open up the partition, go to the root, and then I need to go to Windows. And you can see this behaves very similarly to just a regular file explorer where we've got all of our files and directories. If I click the plus, it expands it. So very similar to that. Now what I'm looking for is the system32 directory and I've got that open and I'm going to go to the config directory underneath there. That's going to be where our registry files are located. That's actually what I'm looking for here is my registry files. You can of course export anything off this file system. This is out of the image that FTK is holding for us. And what we're going to be doing is exporting files out of there onto our desktop so that we can work with them directly. So you'll see some of these here are the registry hive files and I'm looking for a couple in particular here. So I'm going to do security and software. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. So one of them is just very simply right clicking And I should get a context menu here if I right click. And now I've got export. So once I select export, I need to choose a destination file path. I'm just going to say my desktop. And then I'm going to change that. FTK does something weird here where it doesn't actually do the OK button, enable the OK button without a change. So I'm going to say all highlighted. And then I'm going to click OK. It's going to prepare the export. And once it is exported, it is going to actually show up on the desktop. So we've got the item exported now. And that's actually where it is. So if I go to my desktop, you'll see there's a directory here called 1. And there's the software file right there. So we've just done an export. Again, you find the file you're looking for, you right click on it, you select the destination folder where you want to put it, and then you just export it and it drops it into that location for you.